This screencast is for ticket number 363382. A student is asking to reopen Biology 142 for spring 2013, which is which was taught by Professor Omland for this particular semester. Um, just thought I'd um, show these steps, and these are the steps that um, Dr. Omland will need to perform. I'm logged into Blackboard, and this is the initial screen that you always get once you've successfully logged in. Um, and to access a course, um, I need you to z zoom in or hone your your attention to the module labeled My Courses. So if you if Professor Omlin has um, a lot of courses, the previous one will no longer be displayed here. And sometimes it is, so you might be able to just um, scan through this list and see spring 2013 class, but if it's not being displayed, um, what you need to do is click on the gear icon that's on, on the right side of that box, and then um, luckily I have two courses that are not being displayed in my list, so I can click on the course name and then click Submit, and now it is showing the ENCH 660, um, which is what you need to do for the Biology 142. So once you have that enabled, um, it's still not going to be available to the student. So I'm going to go inside the course, and I'm going to, of course, your entry um, point or design might be slightly different than what I'm using for this example, but um, for the instructor, we need to scroll down um, under the control panel section, um, click on the customization which expands that category, and click on the properties link as a subcategory. Um, and then what you need to do is scroll down to um, set availability. So you can make the course available again for the student to be able to access that. And you also might want to check um, the dates. So for this particular course, I have it set as continuous. But by default, what we do is have the select dates um, set up. This is, this is what's toggled on for all the courses that we create for every semester. So you might want to check the end date for this, because although you made the course available on number three, you still also need to make sure that the end date is not, um, you need to set it a little bit more, a little bit ahead of, of in the future so that the student can access that. So these are the steps that you can um, follow to be able to grant the student access to Biology 142. Uh, hopefully this screencast is helpful. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to reply to my message that will attach it to the ticket that you already have in the system. Thank you.